Almost there, baby. Where to? Get into Tonka, baby. One day trip down to Tonka and more. <laughs> we are here finally after a long journey traveling. We are now on the way to the best apparently la. beef noodle. Beef everything noodle. We are going there to have it. And that will be the first meal before we check out a few hot spots in Tanka. And then of course we will head over to Mua. Lots of good food. I'm excited because we've done a lot of good hunts online to check out what are some of the hot spots and great places to eat. We'll be introducing to you on Live Life a Little Laugh with Ernie. Finally in Tanka checking out Kuang Fi, the beef noodle, everything beef. I'm gonna be eating it, you know why? It's been so long. I think I've only been to Tanka twice, so this is my third time here. One of my good good friends lives here, so I'm just back here and I'm just happy to check out this place called Kuang Fi Tanka Beef Noodle. Finally, I'm here at Kuang Fei because why? This is where all the people in Tanka come for beef noodle and beef everything, right? So, finally made it here after two and a half hours drive, Why? Lots of pressures on the highway, a lot of jam. I'm excited to be here. I'm going to check out the food here shortly. So, come join me at Tanka, baby. Third time in my entire life. Always coming back down to every single little town. Live life a little life. <laughs> Finally here, summer. Check it out, really. Is that good or what? So let me test the soup first, yeah. Not too bad, but you know what? We have that the worst in Fiji. <laughs> Tangkap all the way, but hey, you know what? Come to Tangkap, you're gonna have the big noodles. So the soup is okay, not too bad, you know. See the meat. Mm. Beef is tender. Beef is good. What about the rest of the items? Chewy. Mm, this is interesting. Yeah, Kui Tiao is a little bit thicker, bigger with the broth. But uh, I'm sure you enjoy it. So I don't eat much carbs. Just want to see what's so different about the uh, uh, Kui Tiao over here. So the whole fun is, uh, as you can see, it's thicker. But uh, you know what? I'm not here just for this. I'm here just for the whole entire experience of one day in Tang Kha and more. So do check it out and enjoy the rest of the show. If you are in Tanka, you've got to come to this temple. I've just checked out the whole entire place at this temple called Ken Hong Kyong Temple. It's amazing, it's cute, it's funny. It's definitely a must come. I think there are a lot of new cool stuff here. So come on down and stop by Tanka for Ken Hong Kyong Temple. They are all real. Koi fish and Kutu the tortoise are all real. This is a definitely must visit if you're in Tanka. This temple, man, something special. Do check it out, man. I can't say the name right, but uh, it will be stated on the bottom here. So check out the name of this Tanka temple. If you are an uncle and auntie and nothing else better to do, this is a spot. It's called Tangka Choi Sui Chang. Choi Sui Chang means say, you come here to talk about sing song. So you want to talk about sing song? This is a beautiful environment, peaceful, a really, really nice place for you to talk about sing song. Choi Sui Chang.
I'm approaching to Mua Tamsik Gai. So it's only for people who Tamsik. If you're not very Tamsik, then you don't come to this guy. Like, you go to Siu Sik Gai. So I'm gonna walk there and check it out all the little stores to see what's good for us to eat. Finally, from Bangkok all the way to Mua, and guess what? We found this restaurant, which is the famous one on the street of Tam Sakai. And there are a lot of stores, but in this coffee town, there's this famous satay over here. The Mua famous satay over here. And that's what it is, right? So I'm gonna test it out because I've not had this one. I'm not sure whether it's good or not. They only have that chicken. I was actually the last one of 10 sticks over here. Mm. Tastes good. A Gao, A Gao Sake, um, Chinese. So, I'm not sure halal or not, but it tastes good. Chicken Sake, Chinese style of course, with um, cucumber and pineapple. They don't serve onions over here. Right next to it, got this uh, fried kway teow in Moa. So, I got kway teow min, and they actually do the uh, kway teow together with choy bowl, my favorite. And they actually put in the otak otak, of course. That's the otak otak coming. Prawn and fish. Not here yet. So I'm away for that. So I'm gonna enjoy my kway teow. Really hungry. Otak otak, right? Uh, this, you gotta have this otak otak in Wang, right? In Wang, and you leave Wang without having the otak otak. So I got two types over here fish and prawn. So I think this one is prawn. Wow. Mm, definitely more of that hot, fresh, tasty. If I have one, then you'll have more than that. But I'm gonna have it at many places. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, this new Eastern Kedai Makanan. According to reviews, the chicken chop and also the fried rice is very good. So Jim Chan, fried rice here, you get more. If not, next time around, because I'm a bit late for them, so oh well, I'll check it out next time. No luck with this chicken chop everywhere. <laughs> It's supposed to be the street art of Moa. So if you're looking for street art, I think they've got a really cool back background here. I went to Melbourne, you know, a couple of years back and uh, a lot of this actually is trying to become more like a Melbourne but just the weather is not so cool If it's a lot cooler, I think this will be a fantastic way to back Where you can have a lot of Kwai uh, Chai Hong, you can have a lot of Luyan Kai or whatever Kai you want it to be Lai Hong, I think this will be fantastic It's clean and you can have a lot of walls for you to paint And they have started the mural painting in the back there So moi, come and check out your mural street over here Everywhere they have this kind of cool umbrella art, right? But at the end of the day, you know, not very practical, but it's good for looks. Boom, boom, boom! Ayi pear, refreshing in a hot, hot sun and day. Ayi pear. I'm not sure it tastes like pear, but it's kind of sweet and refreshing, soury. So it's okay, good for a hot day. hunting for a very special unique house in Karit Jawa so not sure haven't found it yet but Karen is behind these row of shops so let's see how unique it is and we can catch it and catch some new cool pictures I found a pretty cool place over here that makes otak otak I think for wholesale so first time I'm actually here in Karit Jawa to check out how they actually make otak otak so the machinery back there is quite cool man quite pretty educational It's actually eel. Ota Ota is like eel, you know? How they actually process the whole entire thing over here. And you can get to learn a lot of things actually. It's not just taking cool pictures but educational. That's why it's all about leaf life and little life. Educational, enjoy and see the things that you've never seen before. Great experience.
never would I guess, man, there's a place like this right behind an Ota Ota place called Daily Happy Ota Ota. So in front of the shop house in Pride Jawa, you will actually see the regular store where they sell all these frozen Ota Ota, but behind the street, which you have to park your car in front and then walk to the back, you see the whole entire manufacturing process of the Ota Ota of this Daily Happy Ota Ota, right? And then of course, they have this very nice queen looking uh, I would say kampung house, but very unique kampung house and obviously it becomes like an attraction for people to come and take pictures and also because you can't take pictures, you probably want to be able to buy some Otta here as well so pretty cool Amazing! What an experience over here man You gotta come and check out Daily Happy Otta Otta a place where they manufacture Otta Otta in the front and leveraging on the back man to build this like a museum like for you to take some Instagrammable photo I don't think a lot of people realize that this place is Harik Jawa You heard it on Live a Little La or Early Chance Live a Little La I'll see you at Harik Jawa man We are exploring all the small little kampong streets over here which I think is very interesting because usually it's all near the uh, rivers and uh, obviously they're very interesting. I think they're building another temple here and the restaurant Pantai inside here as well. Wow, we're next to all the little sampans. <laughs> oh, the guests driving here, you get all the sampan over here. I suppose that's what the fishermen here all do. We catch fish and we get to eat fresh seafood. So now I'm thinking whether I should just park here and just enjoy the fresh seafood over here because apparently it's pretty fresh. <laughs> Hidden further in in Parit Jawa after checking out that nice little spot is this Pantai Jetty Leka. Right? I don't think anyone expect to find this here. I didn't expect, but you see, when you're curious and you want to explore, this is what you find. I found a lot of all this uh, fishermen's boat with a lot of engineers or technicians fixing engines. I think this is definitely a place that you need to check out in Parit Jawa. Don't just go to Moa, man. Get out of the banda, come to Parit Jawa. Check out that place where I took a lot of beautiful pictures with that nice little house and Ota Ota and of course, check out the sampans over here. Amazing, beautiful. Hello everybody, finally at Parit Jawa, right? As I said, at the Pantai Jetty Liquor. We have this restaurant called Strix Wheel Restaurant. At this Strix Wheel Restaurant, I'll just order a few fresh seafood. So we have, of course, their house favorite over here, which is the Asam Pedas uh, egg, fish egg. Asam Pedas fish egg. It's supposed to be really good and taste very good. Mm. Soury, but uh, a bit diluted for me, but soury. Lah. Okay. Uh, this one is actually what they call a dragon's tongue. Dragon's tongue fish. It looks like a dragon's tongue, I suppose. But it's crispy and it's fresh and it's really nice. So it's dragon's tongue fish. And of course, the hot chen. Hot chen, which is just your regular hot chen in KL. Perhaps their taste and flavor here is a little bit bland compared to what we are used to in KL. But since we are here in the local, enjoy what they have over here and it's fresh. Just enjoy whatever comes to us. But when I come back, <laughs> all right, after closing off Pari Jawa with the Assam Pardas Dragon Tongues fish. Uh, and also a little bit of jian. Now we are done with Mua Tangkap. So one day trip Tangkap Mua, that's what we did. Did some places and also visit some nice spots for pictures. And of course now heading over to Malacca. So till next week, I'll see you in my Malacca one day trip. Peace. Bye bye Mua. Bye bye Mua. See ya. Sayonara. Won't be back for a long time. <laughs>